where you go to college makes a statement about you. This place will become a part of you, your identity for life. The University of Kansas, a great place to be you. Welcome back to Good Morning KU. I am Shane Martin with our weather today. And right now I believe we have Jade Steffensmeyer with us outside. Jade, where are you at? Hey Shane, I'm actually right outside Snow Hall, right in front of Jayhawk Boulevard behind me. And it is so beautiful outside. Like I think this is the best or the warmest day we've had all spring. It's really exciting. I would agree. I think today is gonna to be the warmest day of the week by far and away. What, what's, is it like, what are people wearing outside? They're wearing shorts, short sleeves? Sh yeah, um, a lot of shorts, a lot of short sleeves, even some tank tops I've seen. Everyone's super excited bringing out those summer clothes for the first time. And yeah. That, that's awesome. I'd love to hear that. Now, is it, does it feel any more humid outside now it's getting warmer? Because normally it gets oh. warmer and it gets a lot more humid here. Yeah, for sure. As you can see by my hair, it's both humid and super windy out here which is good. I mean, a breeze will help cool people off when it gets a little hotter later in the day, but it is super humid, which comes with the heat, obviously. But I did hear that this warm and nice weather will not last very long. Um, I'm sure you're going to talk about more of that later in the show, but. Yeah, thank, yes, I am. In fact, that's what we're going to jump to now. Thank you, Jade. We'll look forward to seeing you back here in the studio when you get back. Um, it is yeah, very warm and windy today. That's gonna to be the main headlines. We're gonna have warm winds, temperatures up in the 80s. And then over this weekend, we're gonna have some roller coaster temperatures. We're gonna be up in the 80s today, 70s on Friday. And then we're gonna tank down in the 40s before we start going back up again next week. And with this warm and humid weather that we have um, on the way today and tomorrow, that gives us our next chance of rain. And then maybe some wintery precip this weekend too. So right now it is 66 degrees outside with mostly sunny skies and a light south wind at about 10 to 15 miles an hour. Now that wind will increase this afternoon about 15 to 20 was gust, possibly as high as 30 miles an hour out of the south. And we're gonna max out about 81 degrees. We should have a few high clouds filtering it throughout the day. Nothing too much, it's still gonna be mostly sunny. It's gonna be a fantastic day outside. And then tomorrow, those clouds are really gonna thicken up and that's just gonna be that humidity that we're talking about. We're gonna have a lot more moisture coming in the lower part of the atmosphere and that's gonna be in the form of clouds. Now, later uh, tomorrow afternoon, about 4 to 7 p.m., there's going to be some scattered thunderstorms in the area. I'm not expecting uh, much, but what is out there has the potential to be severe. We're going to have south winds about 20 to 25 miles an hour, with gust as high as about 30. We should be flirting with a wind advisor. I'm not quite sure we will meet that criteria for tomorrow. But if we look at the radar at 4 o'clock, we have a nice, very compact, low-pressure system just skirting across from west to east on the Kansas-Nebraska border. And you see some more storms up here towards Iowa. And we just have a few out here in our uh, south or southwestern counties, excuse me. And there's some should be some storms in Missouri. Now those will move this way. And now it does remain seen to be where those will pop up if we get any rain at all. It's very going to be hit or miss. This is at 7 o'clock, and you can see they're just very scattered. There's a few storms here and there. Now those storms should be severe. I'm thinking mainly some gusty winds and maybe one-inch hail, if that is. But then you see all this extra rain back here coming off of this week, or uh, at the back side of the storm. This is called the wraparound. Now this cold air is going to be filtering it, and this should be some very cold rain to start our day on Saturday, and then perhaps on Saturday night, maybe some wintery precip. I'm not expecting too much. So again, if we look at our uh, Long Ranger, Thursday is gonna be 81 degrees a day with a low of 67, and Friday is gonna be 77. And then we go back into this colder below average pattern. Now, the reason we haven't been really just warming up for prolonged periods of time, more than three or four days at a time, is because there is a big blocking system over the uh, eastern part of the United States, over out out over the Atlantic and that is really keeping us from warming up and just pushing all this cold Arctic air down our way and that's why we have not been able to warm up for a prolonged time. But after this weekend, we're gonna start the rebound again. We'll be up to 69 degrees on Tuesday and then we'll drop down to 61 again on Wednesday. But overall, after this weekend, looks to be perfectly above average temperatures or right around average, which is just fantastic. I think so. If we can survive this weekend, it is going to be awesome. And that is our show today. So thank you very much for watching. Again, I am Shane Martin. Have a great Thursday.